It's the memoir of a modern instrumentalist. An intriguing look behind the curtain at life at the heart of progressive rock and electric jazz. It's the truth about being a professional touring musician. It's about 40 years on the road, in the studio, and playing drums his way. I wrote the book because I want people to have a clearer idea of what it is being a musician. It seemed to me that rhythm was everywhere, although nobody else really noticed it. I, it was in the air, it was in the kitchen clock, it was in the, the tick-tock of my father's windshield wipers. I guess I thought I could be a music star in the music world and a normal guy in the normal world. Mostly it worked, fooled some of the people some of the time. So I'm sitting at the rooftop pool of Sheraton here in New York City, listening to Roundabout play every 40 minutes on the radio. I don't have a clue where the money's going. Well, you know, the problem with success is that right after success comes repetition. And I didn't just want to troll around the world stadiums playing close to the edge with yes. Well, I'd been uh, stalking Robert Fripp for some time, and he finally conceded to all my badgering. The only time I was famous, and for the obligatory 15 minutes, was for a negative, for leaving Yes. I was from a, a looser background, from a jazz background, and I thought the idea was you joined groups, and you moved through them, gave to it, learned from it, and moved on. Yes, King Crimson, Genesis, UK, in short order, came and went real fast. I was starting to get a reputation as a group hopper. At a deeper level, a musician is involved in this endless struggle to master this instrument, and it's got nothing to do with record companies, chart positions, hit records. You know, when we formed these progressive rock bands, you kind of slit wrists, mingled blood until death us did part. I would maybe prefer a looser culture where some of the musicians swap bands or repertoire for an album or a tour. Maybe Roger Waters played with King Crimson, or Chris Squire played with Pink Floyd, or John Bonham played with Yes. I was able to play the music I wanted, where I wanted, with whom I wanted, and when I wanted, and get paid handsomely for it. Bill Bruford, The Autobiography. Available wherever fine books are sold.